Hey guys, this is Rebecca from yesterday and I just packed my backpack and I just want to show you guys real quick what I packed. So, um, now that we have to wear face masks, I can't like eat in class. So, snacks are limited, but I'm going to be bringing my water, my computer, my binder for class, my planner, pencil pouch, and charger. And then in here I have protein drink and pistachios. I have a granola bar and my blue light glasses. And that's really all that I'm bringing. Well, of course I'll have like my mask and like my ID and my keys, that kind of stuff, but don't really have lunch, but I normally would pack a lunch, but since these are different times and I don't really have much time between class and work, so yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's 6 a.m. Today is gonna be fun because this is my first. This is my first day back to school in person since COVID. So I'm just gonna wash my face and brush my teeth. So I thought I'd show you real quick how I make my coffee. I have this cute cup I got from Walmart. Um, and all I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take the Starbucks blonde iced coffee and putting some silk almond milk. Pumpkin spice creamer. This is my favorite. This was like my go-to before everybody else started to, but whatever. It's good. I'm just gonna fill it up like halfway coffee. And then probably like two-ish tablespoons of almond creamer. That's it. Mm. 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 This is pumpkin spicy forward to this every single morning. Just made it up with all of my stuff. Now we're going to the gym. It is 6.30 on the dot and I have a slot from 7 to 8. Oof. Let's get going. Okay, so also you probably noticed that I didn't eat and that is because I like to work out when I'm fasted. So then I'm just gonna eat after I work out and coffee is gonna be kind of like my pre-workout. Oh, today's Monday, first day back. So I thought I'd explain it just a little bit more. So I've had school online for the past two weeks and it hasn't been bad, but it hasn't been great. So I'm just happy to see us go back in person because I feel like I learned so much better. This is also my first day back in the gym since quarantine. I tried working out at home, but I just never found an effective workout for me without equipment. I had like the best results when I went to the gym, hoping for the best, think it will be good. I have to wear a mask, that's one thing, I have to wear a mask while working out, but I don't have to on like the cardio machines, so that's a benefit I guess, to do cardio, <laughs> so I can take my mask off. Bear, my sister, she's coming with me. We have to drive separate because she only has one class and then after we both have class at the same time, but I work and then I'm mentoring and then I wanna go to the skills lab. So I have a few more things on my list that I wanna do than she does and she works tonight. She's a patient care tech um, at a hospital by us, and she's gonna be working from 7P to 7A tonight. Kinda disappointed, hoping for a better sunrise. <laughs> it's all gray outside. Oh yeah, one more thing. So I started recording myself talking <clears throat> while, <clears throat> while studying. So I had like a voice memo of me talking about all the topics that we're gonna be covering on the exam today, and I'm just gonna be listening to that.
I just finished and changed and I'm about to drink my protein drink and have an apple as a post-workout post, post -workout snack and then I'm gonna have probably granola bar before I go in but I have class in about 30 minutes so I need to go drive over there let's go do that so just finished um my protein drink my apple and now it is like 8 15 and oh no it's more like 8 20. yeah some girls pulled up playing WAP and I heard it and I was like awesome in this house so, good hype song but So I just finished with work and I actually met some people who watch my channel, so shout out to you girls. So now I'm going to the nursing skills lab and my mentorship thing that I'm doing, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm on my way back to the car, just finished the little mentor. Um, mentor mentee thing for the nursing program and I did some skills in the skills lab I practice IVs but I'm on my way home now and I got to study and I'll bring you guys along with that because studying is an important part of nursing school <laughs> oh, wow. I'm struggling this morning I told you guys that I had a an exam it went okay I would say could have gone better but she's giving us quite a few points back which I'm happy about because I didn't do bad, but I can do great. Oh, it's hot in the car. It's 4.13, I'm on my way home. I need to wash my face. I need to shower. Just ignore it all. Like, we're just all kind of like staring at each other. We don't know what to say. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna make a PowerPoint slide just with like, Hey, welcome back. Um, like a little review of what CANS is and like put out there. Um. So it's a lot later now. I get some pancakes because I was hungry. They were, I probably should have showed you. I'll show you when I, I'll show you in a second the pancakes I ate. They were high protein pancakes and I made them um, higher protein, I guess. Um, and then I showered where that this came in. And then I had a meeting at six, which you guys just saw. And now um, I painted my toenails, my cute like mauve color. And I couldn't do anything to my hands since I start clinical this week. So I just put, um, so they're a little bit shiny. Just a little bit, just a little something to protect my nails. And now I am studying for pharmacology. And I just want to show you guys real quick how I study. So here are some of my favorite study materials. This is the ATI Pharmacology book, which I just go in on the chapter, where are we? On the chapters that we cover. I usually have like a post-it note. Um, so like this one, this was pharmacokinetics. Um, so I just go through and I highlight and every like highlight color. Oh, I must have skipped this one. I highlight um, different colors for different topics. Um, so this is one of my favorite ways. I also use the textbook, the pharmacology textbook, and I read through the whole section. And at the end, there's always like key, key points to point out. And this ATI book really just covers all those key points. And if you need to let it know a little bit more, cause usually the key points would be like, know the factors of absorption, know what absorption is, what affects absorption, that kind of stuff. Um, and this kind of goes into detail what those things are. Also a whiteboard. I talked about this in one of my um, back to school like nursing videos where I talked about my favorite like must have essentials and one of them was a whiteboard. I have that and then I have my notes. So I'm kind of playing with note taking because pharmacology is a very content heavy course. So I need to change up my studying and my note taking because I'm usually a person who likes to take note by hand, but this was all like one day, like, like this is a pretty thick chunk of paper right here. 
out of the first section, like half the section. So I just decided to switch from hand note taking to printing out the PowerPoints and taking notes as she's talking. But as you can see, I love color and I like putting things into like little sections rather than just going down the page like this. This I did it anyway because it was a pretty thick topic to talk about, but I like to keep little sections together. Kind of helps me be a little bit more interactive with the writing, use up a little bit more of the page, and that way I have like little borders to write extra things. So I also love doing drawing diagrams. I feel like the color just really helps make things stand out. So I know um, sometimes we'll talk about things that are like, oh, make sure you know this. So I'll highlight it in the color that I'm using for the section and such. So right now I'm going to be doing um, pharmacology studying and just based off the things I just showed you. And also I'm going to look over my notes and the um, ATI review book and I'm just going to bring out main topics to need to know and go into detail the things I don't really remember and I'm going to do a voice memo. So those are super helpful to listen to when I'm cleaning or cooking or studying or driving in the car, um, folding laundry, just something to listen to when I need to get something done and I don't want to be in silence. So instead of listening to like a podcast like I normally would, I am just going to be listening to that. I also recorded today's lecture for Med Surge, so I wasn't, that's why I wasn't able to really record anything. My day's been pretty busy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my first day face-to-face -face learning <laughs> my junior year. I start my in-person clinical this Friday, so maybe I will vlog like orientation. I know I'm not gonna be able to have much time to be on my phone. I'm, I know I'm not going to be, so I'm not gonna stress about it, but we'll see how it goes. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you guys like to see what I do in a day of a nursing student at Carthage. So thank you guys again so much for watching and please subscribe if you guys are new. I like to post a ton of different stuff about college, lifestyle, and me and Ryan love to post things with our dogs. So I really enjoy doing this. It's, it's, really, it's really nice to look back on. So hope you guys enjoy it and thank you again for watching. Bye. One more thing that I did want to show is I saw this thing on TikTok where people have been folding their blankets into pillows. And I think that's absolutely genius. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. First things first, I find the shorter side of the blanket, which is right here. And I'm just gonna fold over the top half of it. Not too much of the blanket, probably like a fourth of the blanket. This is gonna be how tall your pillow is gonna be. And then you're gonna put that side down. Now that you're on the side that doesn't have the fold, no folds, you didn't see any folds, you're gonna fold in the left side to the halfway point and same to the right side. And then just adjust it to make sure both sides are equal and even. It should look something like this. So again, I folded this part in half, put it down, folded over halfway and this is what it should look like right down the middle and now what you're going to do is you're just going to fold the sides together like a sandwich so now you have the fold that you folded over and you have the half you're just going to put it right down on your bed so now i have it looking like this you're going to fold it in thirds so you're going to fold the bottom up and then it'll look like that you're going to do it again so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna fold it over a third time, like that. And you can already see it coming together right here. Then you're gonna put your hands in this part into the top corners. Oh, this is hard to show. And then you're just gonna fold it over and adjust the corners. And then pull everything out. And boom, it's a pillow. And I think this is a great tip for traveling or storing blankets. So this is what I'm doing right now. And it's actually pretty comfortable. So there's that.